stop it and tidy up. And here's all their friends. Comb your hair, wash your face, and hurry up. Go and play with his favorite toy. And poor little, calm down, and nasty little, not now. The two bees behave and be quiet. Sleepy old, go to bed. And don't do that. Take care. Eat your greens. Clean your teeth. And the big, bad, I said no. Today we meet Comb Your Hair. It was a bright and sunny day in the land of do as you're told. <laughs> Stop it and tidy up. We're chasing. Comb your hair. Straight into the gherkins. Because it was such a nice day, Tidy Up had packed a hamper full of gherkin sandwiches, his favorites. And now they were going on a picnic. And what better way to travel than riding on Comb Your Hair. Tidy Up knew the perfect spot for a picnic. Mm -hmm. He'd been there many times before, and he thought it was the nicest place in the whole of Do As You Told. Mm -hmm. And so they set off on their way. Oh, look, they're naughty. First, they had to pass through the valley of the sit downs. Strange creatures that had been sitting there for as long as Stop It and Tidy Up could remember. Mm. Tidy Up always expected them to do something else. They never did. All they did was sit down. See? Now, there was only one problem with riding Comb Your Hair. And that was, he couldn't always see where he was going. Because his hair was so long and scruffy. Still, Tidy Up was too excited to worry about that. <coughs> On their way, they came across Go and Play, who sat happily playing with his toys. <coughs> he had lots of toys, Go and Play. <coughs> That's why he was happy. Well, wouldn't you? <coughs> Good grief! Tidy Up was beginning to wonder whether riding on Comb Your Hair was such a good idea after all. And as for Stop It, well, he was beginning to get fed up with the whole idea of going on a picnic all together. In fact, he lost his temper. <laughs> Tidy Up decided he'd better give him a good chance. That always did the trick. Tidy Up wasn't fed up with the idea of a picnic. He was looking forward to it as much as ever. In fact, he couldn't wait to get there. He was so busy dreaming about his picnic spot, he forgot about Comb Your Hair. He wandered off somewhere. Oh, dear. Eventually, they caught him. And it wasn't long before they were almost at the picnic spot. Oh, I can't wait, can you? Mm -hmm. But when they finally reached it, they found that the picnic spot had gone. Where had it gone? Mm -hmm. So, that was it. They built a road right over it. Well, they haven't had a very good day out after all. But at least they still had their sandwiches. Well, they did until Comb Your Hair ate them all. He was very fond of gherkin sandwiches. Who isn't? It'll be a long time before they all went on a picnic again. <laughs> <laughs>